Howdy and welcome to another video edition of Remedy Land. Today I want to talk to you about Eisenmenger's Syndrome. Eisenmenger's Syndrome has been described as a ventricular septum defect with right ventricular hypertrophy, riding aorta and cyanosis. As for frequency, is overrepresented in reverse shunts. There comes to mind a ventricular septum defect, patent ductus arteriosus persistens and atrial septum defect. Causes of pulmonary hypertension are not known. Increased pulmonary vascular resistance leading to right ventricular hypertrophy and the reverse shunt. But blood still flows from left to right, but also from right to left, blood coming from the lungs, oxygen enriched again returns to the lungs instead to go into the rest of the body. For this reason, there are some changes in the lungs, the arteries become narrow and stiff and therefore they increase pressure in the pulmonary arteries. When blood pressure from the lungs becomes greater than the pressure of the blood that passes through the shunt reverses, then it is called Eisenmenger syndrome. Blood with a lack of oxygen from the left side of the heart goes to the left ventricle and further to the rest of the body, which in this process is not getting enough oxygen-enriched blood. The clinical picture of Eisenmenger syndrome symptoms and signs of Eisenmenger syndrome, often fatigue leads to moderate or significant dyspnea. Ventricular and atrial septum defect leads to the appearance of cyanosis with polycythemia and clubbing fingers. Reverse ductus arteriosus persistence causes cyanosis of lower legs and toes. It is possible to palpate action of the right ventricle and the arterial pulmonalis. Along the left sternal border systolic murmur can be heard, and early pulmonary systolic shock. Eisenmenger syndrome can cause other complications such as congestive cardiac failure, biliary vesicle, bleeding, blood clot, kidney problems, dizziness, high red blood cell count, iron deficiency, palpitations, headache, cerebral abscess, blurred vision, fainting, shortness of breath and swelling in the joints. Most of these symptoms of Eisenmenger syndrome can be early notice, and should be reported to your pediatrician. These symptoms can be similar to other heart problems. Radiographic findings of Eisenmenger syndrome, on fluoroscopy we can conclude it a big, pulsating active pulmonary artery. ACG of Eisenmenger syndrome, usually there is right ventricular hypertrophy with prominent P waves. Echocardiogram of Eisenmenger syndrome, with this procedure, which examines the structure of the heart by using sound waves we can see the flow of blood through the patent ductus arteriosus and identify what is the size of the hole and how much blood passes through hole. Magnetic Resonance Imaging of Eisenmenger Syndrome This procedure uses large magnets and radio frequencies to present the structure of the heart and it is helpful for the establishment of pulmonary artery pressures. Special Tests of Eisenmenger Syndrome With Cardiac Catheterization, Angiocardiography and by using dye dilution curves it is possible to determine the size of shunt. The Treatment for Eisenmenger Syndrome Surgical intervention is not useful in the presence of Eisenmenger syndrome, but it can be prevented if a hole that causes pulmonary hypertension is on time discovered. Treatment for Eisenmenger syndrome depends on several factors such as age, current health status, and amnesis. How advanced is the disease? Is patient fits the appropriate treatment? The prognosis of disease progression and others. Treatment for Eisenmenger syndrome consists of medications, oxygen during sleep or rest, removal of blood, blood being replaced with intravenous saline and others. Prognosis for Eisenmenger syndrome Most patients die before the age of 30 due to decompensation of heart, vascular thrombosis, or endocarditis. I hope you've enjoyed this video edition. We'll see you again on another video edition of Remedy Land. Take care.